these are the plaintiffs, Teresa and Paul Cacciato. Teresa says the defendant was their former tenant who rented out a storefront for her pet grooming business. And when she left, she freaked out. The woman maliciously cut the wires to the furnace and poured antifreeze into the tank, ruining it. They were nothing but nice to the plaintiff and have learned a very valuable lesson. Do a background check on all prospective tenants in the future. They're suing for $2,160, the amount owed. This is the defendant, Teresa Cordulak. She says the plaintiffs are out and out liars because the furnace in the building never worked and she had to provide herself heat by using space heaters. The plaintiffs should be ashamed of themselves because they dragged their feet on fixing the furnace because they were selling the building. And if anyone's owed money here, it's definitely her, not the plaintiffs. She's accused of fouling up a furnace. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $5,000 for lost wages for 11 months. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigant, <coughs> have been sworn, Your Honor. Teresa Cacciato. Right. And Paul Cacciato, you are yes. suing Teresa Cordulac doing businesses Bow Wow Boulevard. Correct. What kind of business is it? <laughs> it's dog grooming and dog training. Dog grooming and dog training. For $2,160 and four months' rent that you say she didn't pay from... October of 2014 to January of 2015. You are counterclaiming against them $5,000. You say your actual damages are $22,000. Uh, based on lost wages of $2,000 per month for 11 months, because of what? Because I had to leave the building. Because you had to leave I, the yeah, building. I don't have a storefront. Because they, they were supposed to repair a... Uh, broken down furnace. So you feel Since that you were li you were forced to leave I had because to. of the, the furnace was issue. Gonna, the village was going to shut the building down. Okay, okay. Let's start with you. You had rented to her, and this is a business establishment, correct? Right. So uh, what happens in October of 2014? She had been there for how long? She was there for uh, almost a year and a half, almost two years. Okay. She said she when she took the uh, the property, she told my husband that she didn't want the oil heat because she didn't want to pay for the oil, that she would bring in her own, her own heat, her own heating. Okay. So he said, that's fine. She was there for a year and a half. Can you tell me, did that happen with your husband or with you? Well, she made the plan, she... Okay, tell me about the, what discussion you had with her before she took over, because you're supposed to provide heat, right? I, get, I wanted to give her heat. I gave her the heat. She didn't want to pay for the oil. And so she says, forget about it. I'll Wait, do my what, own heat. when you heat. say you gave her the heat, was there something wrong with the furnace? No. no nothing no, wrong no. with it. So what, is, what was it that you were giving her? She, I don't understand. There was the, the, I, when she took the place, he told her that the furnace had to be repaired a little okay, bit. Okay, so what was wrong with the furnace? All right. It did, I don't know what was wrong with heat. He could tell you. But well, I, I was trying to get it from him, and then you interrupted. What, how long have you been married? 50 52. years. <laughs> they can't even agree on the, how long have you been married? 50 or 52? 50 years. 50 years this year. Is your 50th anniversary coming up this year and you're not aware of that? Yeah. <laughs> you better I, do something uh, good for her. You're right. He That's doesn't hear too well. So you've been married 50 years. I want to hear from you what was wrong with the furnace. There was really nothing wrong with the heat. It just had to be looked at, had to be uh, cleaned out. And But she was in a hurry to get in. She wanted to get well, in right Why can't right it be cleaned out once she's in? Because she didn't want the heat. So we okay. said, we're not giving it. She doesn't want it, but why have it fixed yet? That's the answer. Right. That's, that's what I'm answer. trying to understand. Okay. So that's... don't tell me there's nothing wrong with it. All right. There's something that needs doing. Right. It didn't get done. Your version is because she didn't want it done. She was her, her version is because you're terrible landlords. <laughs> Let me hear from you on why the furnace didn't get fixed. When I contacted Mr. Casciato, when did you contact? Him? I contacted him in September of How 2012. How did you contact him? By phone or no, by email his, or text? His shop is uh, like two in buildings person? down okay. from my shop, so we I used to and communicate you tell with him what? that way. <laughs> I tell him, uh, Mr. Casciato, it's now <laughs> the fall and it's change. time for the boiler to be ser the furnace to be serviced. That okay. He takes but the you don't leave until when? You don't stop paying rent over no, that until two and a half years later. I continue to pay rent. So why did you stop paying? All right. 
So your version is, I was never okay with this. Their no. version is, judge, look at her. She paid rent for two and a half years. This isn't why she stopped paying rent. So yeah, when you did, did stop paying rent, according to you, why did you stop paying rent? Because it's two winners. Right. Just like they say you agreed to do, with some alternate form of heat because you don't want to pay oil. So I'd like to see the text, the email, the letter, the certified letter, something that shows that you were complaining about it and saying, I don't want to do business this way. I'm not okay with the way this is. I don't have a certified letter to him, but I have the copies from the village of Mastic Beach that was going to come and shut the building down. Okay, I'm going I'm 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 to take a gamble here. You have letters at Mastic B Village Village sent, of Mastic Beach. Village of Mastic Beach sent. And what was the first month that you did not pay rent? October of 2014. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go out on a limb here without having seen the letters yet. And I'm going to guess, and I could be wrong. I've been wrong many a time. I'm going to guess that these letters are dated after you stopped paying rent. The, the letter here that the inspection is going to be due is actually mm. right after he went and filed. What date is the letter? Uh, it's October of... Oh! I thought I was wrong. That's why I keep showing up. I keep thinking it's going to happen at some point. Hand over the letter. So, this see, here's where my problem lies. Look, I knew that it was going to be post that because you know what it looks like? It looks like when they say it wasn't a problem and you say it was a problem, you're lying when you say it was a problem when the first time it's a problem is after they demand you to pay rent and go to court and file a lawsuit against you for back rent. At some point in November, as soon as she says, this is what my problem is, do you fix it? I went out, I got the plumber, he put in the, he fixed the oil burner, he booked, he got me a brand, in fact, there's a, there's a bill. November. Show me the bill. It was in November. November. And yeah. she still that's didn't pay rent fixed, November, December, January, or February. That's when you fixed the burner and... Okay. Right. How and do you explain that? Pay. How do you explain... Because that looks bad, really bad, Your don't Honor, you think? I have a text message from her son. The plumbers didn't even know they were supposed to come there. The boiler or furnace was still not repaired. Yes, and so it was not repaired until, until after I was out of the building because these all these messages that I provided... These text messages and, um, and this is, copies um, are from people who had, uh, were letting me know and the village of Mastic Beach that they were working in the building against a stop work order. I need from you the stack of texts that you just referred to. Okay. Let me see that. Um, is that? Yes. Yeah. I see a bill for a new oil tank for in that they paid $800 November 26th. Who are the people? You said you had witnesses. Tell me. My daughter, Jackie. She was there for all of this. Okay. Who's your daughter, Jack? Right here. Okay. And who is the person with her? Is that That's moral Jimmy. support or No, a she does my computers and my cameras. Okay. So I need to talk to both of them. Come on up, Jackie, all please. Time. All right. What light can you shed on any of this? What I know is that they would come in and they would try to get the plumbers that were occupying the building next door to fix it. And they were trying to fix it while we were in there operating our business. So and from what? nine so to five. So you would say no. I'm sorry? So you would say, no, you can't oh, come in now. Of course not. You okay. can't. Uh, so as was far there as what ever a time when someone was able to go in there she after hours? And hours. my mother tried. She's off Mondays. She would go in there on Sundays. Any, any time okay. after 5 p.m. Did you ever go in and see them fixing it? No, ma'am. Who's the lady who's sitting down again? I'm sorry. Jody. Um, Switch with her, please, Jackie. Okay, um, what is your name? Jody Magnin. And what jo job do you do there? Um, I do her computers as well as her cameras. Okay. As well as the what plumbers. Do, do you know anything about the plumbers mm -hmm. and the issues that we're talking about? Um, yes, I, I do. I recall a time when he had walked in and said that um, they did not even pay him to do the job, so therefore they are not going to continue to work on that. Rhonda, can I ask a question, please? Yeah. She never came to tell me that she was having, that she wanted the heat. Because then I would have immediately yeah, had it to. done. So we had it done after she told me the fact. Okay, here's what I want from you. Do you have your phone with these texts on it? Because um, what's missing are the dates, and I need to see the yeah, dates of these things. Be it becomes critical. Mm -hmm. Because I need to know whether this is just something you're making up because you don't feel like paying rent, or whether this is something that was truly a problem for you that the landlord did not address. And then what we need to decide is what is the benefit to you of it off of your rent. Do you get to stay there for four months without paying rent at all? Or do you get a prorated portion because you have to pay the electricity bill instead? You were in business, be, there, be this clear, you were in business between in the month of October that you didn't pay, the month of November that you didn't pay, the month of December that you didn't pay, the month of January that you didn't pay, and the month 
No, that's it. We end in January. I ended in January. All four of those months you were there, right? Yes. Okay. Were you in a prior location before this? Yes, I was. Did you owe that landlord a ton of money and get... No, I okay. did not, Your Honor. And that's because that landlord is apparently... That up. In, uh, in yeah, because they're... Cooperation with yeah, this because, landlord saying you should have Teresa, researched her better. Because Teresa, Teresa would like to say that about me. She ran up and down the street saying that and also calling my daughter a fat lesbian. The same day. Did, did you do that? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. No, but hold on. I don't care how because old. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. I need you to listen to what I'm going to say. When would that ever be appropriate? I don't care that how was, I'm out. You don't talk right now. You okay. just listen. Okay. In what time of earth would that be a nice thing to say about anybody, no matter what? I said it in a, in a fit of anger. Within a fit of anger. So what? I was, I so was wrong. So what? When I'm I in a admit, fit of anger, I, I don't say something that shouldn't come out of my mouth. I admit 100% I was wrong. Good. Apologize. I apologize. Right. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So the question, um, can the judge consider this comment calling the daughter a fat lesbian? Is that relevant? Is it irrelevant? Should the judge consider it? Um, I think it's irrelevant, but you know, everybody's entitled to their own freedom of speech, so if she wants to say what she has on her mind, then she should be able to. Pretty lousy thing to say, though, right? Definitely. What do you think? Should the judge consider it? No, no. Um, because? Um, it just depends what they were arguing over. Like, was it about the... Well, there's the... usually not anything that would justify that. <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> when you think about it. Okay, going inside the courtroom. Here's how it works. Never once... Okay, if we're talking about an $800 problem or a $1,000 problem, how much are you paying in rent all that time? Uh, $540. $540. All right. Yeah, so pay. during the course of two and pay. something years, what you could do is not have paid rent for two months and paid to repair the problem and then taken it off of the rent. That didn't happen. But what that, you that, could, stop talking and listen. What you could do is have some record somewhere, somewhere, where you call the city before the last four months when you're not paying rent when your business is closing down. You don't pay October, you don't pay November, and then she turns around and starts trying to, let's say that it's exactly as you say, incompetently fix it, fix it on the fly, fix it on the cheap, it, fix it, it doesn't fix it, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, what value, if any, if I agree with every word you're saying, which I don't, because I see that at least at a minimum, I see that they had paid them the $800 and that the work was complete. But let's just say that I were to agree with you, okay? And that I were to say, you know what? It looks like it, was, it wasn't fixed. How would that entitle you to $22,000 in the future of lost wages because you couldn't have a business? You don't have a business. It has nothing to do with them that you don't have a business. That's not true. Okay. That is. It, Your is. Honor, it is, and everybody within the sound of my voice knows it is, too. Okay, that's one. Two, how would it entitle you to get anything more than a rebate in the rent, as opposed to all of the rent, when you're doing business there for four months? So here's what's going to happen. I am going to allow you a rebate for the two months that I see that mm -hmm. um, it appeared to be a problem for you, and that's October and November. What The rebate that I'm going to allow you is a total of $150 for each month. That means that of the money that you owe in rent, I'm going to allow you to deduct $300. So I am ordering you on their complaint against you for the four months of rent. I'm going to allow you to deduct $300, and I'm ordering you to pay them $1,860 on your counterclaim against them. I've already taken it into account here. So zero, just the deduction I mentioned. That's my net judgment in favor of the plaintiffs in the amount of $1,860. That's my verdict. Thank you. The defendant's able to deduct $300 from what the plaintiffs are uh, collecting from you, and they get $1,850. And what's your, what's your reaction coming out of here after all this now? They're nothing but liars. That, that receipt or whatever they have from those plumbers, they're renting from them in their little... You stayed in there all that time? While there was said, big problems? Because they were supposed to fix it. They kept telling me they were going to fix it. Their niece came in and she was going to buy the place. She was going to fix it. They're not telling the whole story. They're not telling any of the truth. Right, okay. They're liars. All right. All right. Around the corner documents wait for you right Thank there. You. Okay. Head that way. All right. Come on in. Come on in here and uh, stand right next to me right here. And uh, right over here. 
Tell me how's, yeah, stand next to him, okay? I love him. What, what's, your, what's your feeling on the outcome? 18... I think it's, I, I, actually, I think it's fair enough. I really don't want to give her the money, but that's fair enough. You know, yeah. she said it was done, that's it. I'm taking her word for it. As far as not fixing the boiler clothes, she never mentioned that she wasn't fixed. What's it like to be married for 50 ah. years? <laughs> great. For when you got the right one, it's, it's always great. But, but the thing but. is... But, no, 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 I'm changing the subject. I'm changing leave it, the subject. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> no, okay, let's leave it there. All right. Harvey? Okay, Kurt. I mean, look, as awful as the plaintiff's comment was, it had absolutely no bearing on the case. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right 